Hey, this is Ray. Give me just five minutes and I'll show you how can you sell more effectively with video. And things like buy button on the video, collecting emails on the video, and even things like converting and distributing all over the place with just few push of the buttons. Even without having a domain name, hosting, or anything else, just have one solution. All right? So let me go into the program and I'll show you exactly how to do that. All right, so here I have the software where, and this is the process, you know, simplifying without, you don't need any domain, no hosting, etc. You just need the software and I'll show you how you can put pages like this one. Okay, and I put it this one in about three or five minutes, okay? So I'll show you all the things you need and the sequence of the events. All right, so let's, first of all, we need a video, right? And... Let's say I want not just one video, but actually like three videos. So what what do I do? All right, so I selected one video and then I select two additional videos. This one and this one. Now they're not conv they're not optimized for specific uh, video format at this moment. So this software actually will allow me to convert them for specifically for the web. All right, so I've selected three videos and as you can see in the corner, I have three of three, and if I just click this button, it goes to all th three videos. All right, so this one is the first one, and I selected all of them, they will convert at this size. Okay, so all I need to do, I can go into advanced settings, but everything is already optimal for web conversion, for the best video, best uh, format for the web, and then I just press create the web video. All right, what it will do is it will convert to a specific optimized uh, web video that I can upload then to the, to the server. Okay, so create web video, clicking. All three videos are converted. And as you can see, if I, if I hover, it actually shows me all the videos that are available now. And what I can do now is just go into player settings and I select one of the skins. So there's eight skins, and I just select, select maybe second one, all right? And this is where it appears. I can actually change the name here of the video. So let's say my my presentation video, presentation video, and it's updated. Okay, so. Here is my presentation video. Hi, this is my and you can name those two also. Plus, I can select a start action. So I, I have autoplay, but I can just say do nothing or load the video. And action, I can say play the next video or just loop the current one. Uh, add social media buttons and also redirect after the video is finished. So whenever the video is finished, I can actually redirect people to a specific page, okay? And then whenever I have this finished, I can also choose the logo and the link of the logo. So, you know, this is like a watermark and I can actually do transparency. But the most interesting in this is where I can have a labels, images, and even the email form. So let's say I want to have a buy button. I just press new image and let's say I'm going to find a buy button. So let's see. All right, so this one will be good enough. We can resize it and I can have a link http dot reanimation.com hit apply and then also I can choose at what seconds the the button will be shown okay so just by that I just added the buy button for specific time code and with the link so anybody that wants to click the buy button they will be taking to the to the to the loan to this page so whoever wants to press buy button when we tell them in the video they will be directed to this to this page uh, where I put as a link okay plus if I want to collect emails I can do with any 
autoresponder like Aweber Infusion or MailChimp or any others. And the only thing I have to do is just enter the list name and that's it. Again, time codes, I choose whenever I want to show. And if I press required, it actually will stop the video and it will show this form. Uh, and whenever people s uh, submit their name and email, the video will actually start playing forward. Okay, so all right, so I finished changing all of these settings. And now I just want to have uh, just want to publish it, right? So I don't need any hosting, nothing at all. I just press publish, and what it will do is it will upload to the to the server that the company hosts actually your videos. So you don't have to do anything. And I will, and let's see. After it's finished, I'll catch up with you. So this is this is what you get when the video is finished uplo uploading, and. I have this code now that basically I can just go to my page and I can just copy that and paste it and it will be automatically will be playing the video with all the settings all right but let's say I don't have the page and I don't have the website that I can put this on so what I'll do is I'll go to click this here and what it will do is it will guide me to the page that is already uploaded to this to the server and all this all this uh, settings are available for the video so just go you know quickly go run through them all right so first of all I have this video code here and I can just copy this and and paste it on my page I also have the width you know so I can I can set the size but what what's importantly is I have this web page URL what and what it gives me is actually give it gives me the full page so I can give, give to somebody and this is actual page that is hosted video and the page is hosted on their server um, here's the here's the best thing that uh, this is really the most important thing on the video is you see where I can where I click enable video tracking what it will do and actually we're gonna go to another video that shows specifically on how many visitors already actually saw my video so if I go video stats if I click video stats here is the best part right so when everybody when somebody starts watching our video we would like to know how many people started watching at the beginning and actually how many f people finished watching the video and if I hover on this you can see 63 people, 64 actually, 64 people started watching the video. And then if I scroll here, there's only 15 people stopped watch, uh, fully, uh, fully watched the video. Okay, so 15, 63, 64 started. And when I sc scrolled through all of that timeline, I can actually see at which point they actually stopped watching the video. Okay, and there's, you know, more analytics like... Um, there's like um, 80, 80 something, 89 u viewers, and each of them I can actually see each of them where they actually stopped finished, uh, stopped watching the video. So, for example, um, let's say the 55th member watched 78, 78 seconds. Okay, and I can actually overall, if I have like 500 or 1,000 viewers, I can actually see what is the trend and which point they actually uh, stopped watching the video. So things like that. There's a lot of analytics in here, and I'm not going to go through all of that. But there's it's basically it's like Google Analytics, which just gives you a lot of data for you to understand of how your viewers are watching the video. Okay, so let's go back. And we have things like secure video, secure video, so we can um, permit only a few websites that, so nobody can actually copy our URL or, or the video and post it on their servers. And then let's go to the distribution. Okay, so let's say you put together a video that you want to put on the Facebook, on your on your YouTube channel, and etc. etc. So you would. You would what? You would need to create the video, then go sign up on YouTube, upload the YouTube, name it. Then you go to Facebook page, you name it, you upload it, etc., etc. Where with this solution, it's really simple, right? Daily Motion, Facebook, Facebook fan page, Meta Cafe, all these top 
video sites. So what I can do is when I have the logins already, I can just put all the logins in here and, and I do it one time and then the same video that I just did that I uploaded to the service, I just name it. So title, description, keywords or tags and then category. And if I set up all these sites or whichever I, whichever I want, if I pr press distribute video, what it will do is it will send and distribute all those videos to those sites with one push of a button. Okay, so this is really simple to populate your content. Then here's the best part. Okay, so let's say we have this page, this video on the page that is blank. Okay, and let's say we want to have something like, actually, let me get back to this video that we uploaded. So let's say we want to have a squeeze page that we want to collect emails, right? And this would be perfect. So if I select this and go next, what it will do it automatically will give me acts. Uh, it will automatically give me the uh, the template loaded with the video itself. So now I can see that the, this video is actually too big for me. So what I would do, what I do is I go back to the video and I change this instead of this size. I'm going to I'm going to do something like 560, and it will automatically resize it. If I go to create web page. If I click next, okay, voila, that's it. So what I do now is I can change everything here. This is my site name, headline, I can change that here. What we need to do is we need to actually create the web form and then what we'll do is copy and paste the HTML code that that the autoresponder provider gives us and paste it in here. And we can actually do specific uh, form. So for example, I have I have the name and email already set up here on Aweber. And if I go to publish and then take HTML, I just copy everything that it that they give me. Okay, so I'm copying this code this Aweber code that they provide me, and I'm just pasting it here. Okay, just paste it. I can also say the uh, what page title I want. So this is this is my my title, and then I can also choose this color. So for example, I want to have blue. Uh, actually, I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to do maybe black. Because I have the web form as blue, so it will stand out, and I also add Facebook comments. Okay, so let's say I want to preview, and that's it. This is the video with the web form that it actually collects um, collects the emails. Okay, so let's say I save it, and I can save as a new temp as a new template or save as new. And if I do that. It gives me straight away. It gives me the URL of the page, and I can just give to somebody this page URL, and that's it. So I have the video that is hosted on their server. I don't have any hosting at all. Uh, I just have a Aweber form here. Video and page is made by them. All right. So how fast I actually can do this? Really quickly. Okay, so here it is all the features and benefits of how we can really effectively market with video, you know, including buy buttons, email collection through video, and etc. etc. And I'm actually using for my own website where where the, the most important thing for me is the analytics, you know, tracking how many people start watching, where they drop off, and then how many people actually finished watching the whole thing. As an example, if I have a buy button and at the 30 minute at the three minute, let's say three minutes mark, then I want to make sure that at least you know half of people watching the video will get to that buy button. 
So here's what I would recommend. Click the button below and it will, it will take you to the page where you can see all the features. And if you want to try this for 30 days for free, uh, just click the link below and it will take you to the next page. Let's go.